We're back to chapter three. We're looking at sort of finalizing our, our program here. Um, now, I forgot at the beginning uh, to give it a name here. So this is actually going to be uh, chapter, oh boy, here, chapter three, and it's going to be the in class and also identify who you are. So always put your name as the name of this control. Uh, you can change the icon here, and I'll show you that in another video. It's just a, a property, and we can go back in and change the icon. There's a library of icons that you can use, and I'll demonstrate that later. You don't have to do that for this assignment. Um, these controls right here, for example, these command buttons, can be all controlled with this menu line right here. So what I want to do in this example is I want it to line them all to the left, so that lines them all up, and I might want them to have equal distance. And that does that. So I might want to do the same thing here with these ones and line them all up with equal distance. And this control here, and so on. So what I'll be looking for is symmetry in your design. So if things are like this, uh, you're going to lose marks for coding standards because it just looks terrible. So make sure when you're designing your application, things are symmetrical. The space distance between these should probably be the same space distance between these two here. If you can get that. If you can't, there's you can use the space bar here. And I can see already there's, there's a, that one needs an extra space and that one probably needs a space that way, possibly. They're pretty close. There we go. That looks a lot better. So spend the time when you're designing your your graphical user interface to make sure that it's organized, it's lined up. Um, if you guys want to organize these in a different layout, that's fine. If you want different colors or shapes or dimensions, that's fine. As long as the purpose and the functions work as my program, um, you'll get full marks. If you want to, to go beyond that, I don't give extra marks, but that's always encouraged. To do that as well. All right, so that's pretty much the end. Oh, we forgot the uh, the exit button. That was one more thing, and of course we can simply just type in close and run it one last time. I'm just typing some garbly gook in here. This doesn't really matter at this point. We've tested it out so much already. And I'm usually typing data that I know what the results should be so that I can help debug it. Clear it out. Looks great. Click on exit. And we're done. So that kind of concludes this particular graphical user interface for Chapter 3. And uh, we'll have a lot more little subtleties in the lecture portion, but I hope this video series has, has helped you guys uh, put this uh, program together. And I'll see you guys in class.